so let's take a look inside the refrigerator and this is what it looks like wait what is that hey everyone my name is Brittany most of you watching this video would know me from my real estate tours other persons from Instagram may know me as the girl who is down for adventure and always up to something crazy so a few weeks ago I was scrolling on YouTube and I saw this video by Monica Church where she stayed at the most expensive hotel in her city and I decided to try this trending video idea but with a twist I hopped on Airbnb and I booked the cheapest Airbnb I could find in this expensive city of Kingston, Jamaica where I reside. Follow me on today's journey as I show you what this Airbnb had in store for me. So where are we headed? We are off Windward Road and this is actually 15 minutes away from the Norman Mangley International Airport. So you are in close proximity to the airports if you decide to book this Airbnb. Sargani Drive, as I said, it's off Windward Road and Windward Road is not the best community in Kingston, Jamaica. Let's just say that. Um, right here, we actually took a wrong turn and I was going down the street, I was like, oh my god, where am I going? But we were rerouted and we actually made it onto the correct street. And this street that the Airbnb is located on doesn't look that rough. So I was a bit grateful, you know, safety first, we're thinking about our safety. But it wasn't bad, it wasn't bad. This street actually had a lot of fully developed single family homes or even multi family home dwellings, right? Nicely fenced, gated, all of that. So the area wasn't so bad. The street that Airbnb was located on wasn't bad. So I was feeling a little bit better when we turned down the correct street. So here we are pulling up to the Airbnb and this is the larger home right here the airbnb however is located towards the back as it is a I believe it's like a triplex or a duplex where multiple families live in this one area so the airbnb is to the back and it's a studio but oh my god you guys it was such a pain getting around there at this point i actually almost fell right but let's be hopeful and let's take a tour of this Airbnb. So once you open the grill and the door, you are greeted by this city kitchenette area and also the bedroom area. You have, I believe it's like a queen size bed with a chair, a nightstand, TV, a microwave and a mini fridge. You have a full body mirror, you have a gas two burner stove, and you also have a little cupboard area. But guys, let me tell you from now, in this cupboard wasn't like clean or you just wouldn't want to drink anything from here. That's the type of vibe it was giving. And yeah, there's the cupboard situation. I don't know why it's missing a door, but hey, hey, we did only spend $31 here. So this is the stove, it's a two burner gas stove, you know, Airbnb, you can carry your own food and so on. So this is the bathroom, it's giving a little tacky, a little tacky, a little dirty. There was soap in the soap dispenser and there was like body wash and shampoo 
various things provided. Uh, the toilet tank was broken. Okay, okay. There was a bath mat provided. There was there were towels in the closet. Okay, okay. Fear, it's a bathroom, you know it works. This is the closet area with this lovely silver painting. <laughs> there are the towels and you do get an iron as well as these three sad little hangers. Okay, so that's the closet. Hey guys, so I'm going on the road now. I'm going to go to Windward Road KFC. That's about five or six minutes drive from here. So let's go on the road to grab something to eat. Okay, now that my tummy is full, let's get into the finer details of this Airbnb. This place was dirty, to say the least. Look at that door, look at all those scratches and marks on the door, that could have easily been painted. And look at this TV, it was not dusted or cleaned in a really long time, you could tell. Even the back of the TV had dust on it. And I just really think that was really sloppy on the part of the Airbnb host. Things like this should have been cleaned up. On the top of the mini fridge, you could see the little food particles right there. That should be cleaned. The microwave, it looked like an explosion went off in there. I don't know what's happening with the microwave. It appeared to work. But this, this was the most disgusting part. And I didn't even see this until the second time I look in the refrigerator. This was a half eaten snack that was just left in the mini fridge. Oh, oh my gosh. And then in the freezer, there was a straw that someone clearly used and left it in the mini fridge. As much as guests may do those things, it's up to the Airbnb to clean, the Airbnb host, sorry, to clean the place and have it ready for the next guest who's coming in. <sighs> then the area was just generally a bit tacky and sloppy so you have like exposed cement and just a variety of things that could be fixed why is there a whole missing door for the lower cabinets here in the kitchenette that's just weird to me but let's look in the bathroom let's look in this bathroom guys there is no mirror on the actual bathroom wall, right? So you'd have to use that mirror on the door. The water pressure at times was low. Right here, it was decent, but at times it was low. And then here you have this broken toilet tank cover. The wall in the bathroom was also dirty. That could have been repainted. It was just a lot of small things. And then here outside in the back part of the yard, you had this dog kennel. And later on, you will hear the dog barking. <coughs> so that was a paid ad by the house dog. So here is the spider webs that were in the bathroom. I feel like that, oh, oh, and the spider. The spider was there too. I feel like that should have been cleaned. Why wasn't that cleaned? In the kitchen, the handle on the kitchen faucet on one side was gone, and that's the side that actually turns on the water. So there's that. 
so it was a bit of a struggle turning the kitchen faucet on and off but of course this is a budget airbnb it's actually the cheapest one we could find so i am still in an experimental mode as you know this video is just experimental to see what it's like in the life of a budget traveler many persons have done videos similar to this in their country or even in their parish where they were able to get amazing airbnb stays for the price similar to this one but this is kingston you know everything is almost a ripoff but we are staying hopeful hey guys so it's a little later on in the day but it's actually night now so i'm going to start my nighttime routine i'm going to change work out then i'm going to shower and then i'm going to read and go to bed so let's wrap up the night that's what we're going to do for the rest of the night so let's do that now <laughs> guys so I'm going to read my book now and then head to bed if you guys are wondering I'm currently reading 101 essays to change the way you think and I'm also reading and I'm also reading 48 laws of power so those are two really good books so I'm gonna read now and go to bed so see you guys in the morning So I am a teacher who is still working from home, so I just taught my morning lessons, you know, got some work done. So my students are currently on break right now, so I'm just going to use this time to pack up all my stuff, straighten up the Airbnb. I like to leave places the way that I came and I saw it so I'm just gonna leave everything in good order just straighten up really quickly pack and prepare for a checkout so I did promise to show you what showering was like but this morning I was so scared to shower again because when I was showering last night there was a little spider in the bathroom but no so we grow rough so we can't make the spider conk away I eventually showered but I had to break up for it because I don't know what else could be there. Alright guys, so I'm all packed and ready to go. So here's all my stuff. Here's a last look of the room. Everything is the way I left it. Uh, well, the way I came and I saw it. Bathroom. Shower. Nish night everything's the way that i came and i saw it so 
I'm going to head out now. I called a cab and this is the end of my stay. So when we get home, we will talk some more. <laughs> You know what? Let's actually talk on the way home. So I would rate this Airbnb 3 out of 10. Tell me in the comments how you would rate it. The pros of this Airbnb was that it's located nearby the airport and it would be good for persons with layovers. It's also in a close proximity to shopping plazas and fast food spots. Second pro was that the AC unit, the Wi-Fi, the refrigerator, the microwave and all the amenities promised were present and in good working condition. The refrigerator was not clean though, so I could actually cross that off the list. Thirdly, I was able to get some work done and the Airbnb was a good break from my own apartment while still being in my own city. Now, what were the cons? The place was dirty, and this is a major risk, especially now with COVID. I chose also not to sleep on the bed as I couldn't risk getting any bed bugs. The place was just dirty, it needed to be clean, and that was a major, major red flag. Also, the dog barked at different intervals. I could hear the family next door talk. I could also hear when they were arguing. So that wasn't convenient for me, the Airbnb guests. The place just wasn't well managed, and it needs better upkeep. Small fixes would go a long way in this Airbnb. But for my first attempt at budget travel, it wasn't all that bad. So guys, tell me where I should go next. Yeah, so comment that below. I feel as though if I was in another parish, $31 could get me something way better. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to see which video I upload next and which parish I go to next.